On June 6, 2024, we are going to have a new moon at 16 degrees of Gemini. This is a perfect time for you to plant these seeds or these intentions that involve all forms of communications. This can include social events, networking, learning, exploring. Remember that new moons, they're a time of rebirth, a time of a clean slate, a new beginning, a time where you're given this chance to have this fresh start in this area of your life. The new moon in Gemini cycle, it presents these opportunities for you to commit to your personal goals that express the positive energy of the sign of the twins. Now, the twins represent all forms of communication and travel. This is going to be a time for you to improve your communication skills by listening to others. This could be taking a class. This could be socializing. This could be networking. It's making time for these connections and uh, keeping them and making the memories from them. It's really going to be a, the perfect time for you to find these new adventures or these new avenues for you to explore and express yourself and learn to awaken your inner child with um, childlike curiosity in order for you to refine your communication skills with writing, speaking, teaching, listening. The sign of Gemini, it really is going to be activated for you right now for to take in all types of information, but it's going to be in smaller bite-sized nuggets. It's it will be a, an opportunity to embrace technology, embrace uh, AI, or embrace you being curious and expanding your knowledge and your interests about what is going on in the world with what is going on uh, close to home with you. You might also commit to adding some mental variety to your lives by uh, connecting to others who have different viewpoints, like expanding your horizons by having these conversations with people who have different viewpoints or looking to expand your mind by gathering more information by taking classes or workshops or by joining other networking events. This lunation aligns with the planet Venus and it forms a square to Saturn. Now Saturn brings along with it some blocks, these obstacles. Look at them as reality checks of what is likely to uh, hold you back before you start off on a new path. Venus brings in this desire for you to have more harmony and love and peace and pleasure. It's about better connections in all of your relationships, prompting these new beginnings. Hi, I'm your astrologer, Patricia Tate, and this is your Gemini New Moon monthly astrology forecast for all 12 signs. Now, before we dive in, I want to share a little bit about my new transit talk webinars that I'm offering. These are interactive educational opportunities that offer a different topic for each month. So to learn more, visit willowgracemystic.com and to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. Now let's dive in. So for Aries Sun and Aries Rising, the Sun, Moon, and Venus are all at 16 degrees in your third house of communication. So before we begin, know that all planets are moving forward. This is an opportunity for you to plan, to uh, to create, to manifest. We're in this open period where all the inner planets are saying, go ahead, make things happen. Plant these seeds, create, manifest, grow. And so we have the sun, moon, and Venus all at 16 degrees. So uh, this will affect um, all people born more with uh, personal planets that are about 12 to 20 degrees in the mutable signs of Gemini and Virgo and Sagittarius and in Pisces. So when you look at your chart, know that when this is happening in the sign of Gemini, Aries, for you, it's in your third house. So if you have any other planets there between 12 and 20 degrees, this will activate or conjunct those planets. It will square the ones in your Virgo house. It will oppose oppose the Sagittarius and it will square what's in your Pisces house. So know that all of these mutable signs are about transforming and moving things along in your life. Now to embrace technology, this is to embrace wisdom, knowledge, learning. The third house for you, the third house represents 
everything that has to do with uh, your friends, your neighbors, your social activities, your networking, um, connecting with people that are close to home. The third house is about acquaintances. It's where we talk and exchange ideas. And so how are you embracing new ways of communication, new ways of travel, um, uh, embracing AI or wanting to learn about it or um, embracing um, new interests, taking a class, taking a workshop, improving your communication skill set, uh, expanding your knowledge, your interest, either by talking to your neighbors or taking a class or a workshop that's closer to home. Now, um, the sun, the sun is who you are. It'll bring in topics of you wanting to um, take a risk on something, uh, to grow something that has to do either with children or create your creative, um, your creative side, like art, music, or things that you're willing to take a risk on. The moon is going to bring in topics that have that revolve around your home, your family, Venus. Venus wants to bring together and and unite. It's about nice conversations, pleasant conversations, if finding a way that's a common ground for you to be connecting with people. Now, the square comes in with Saturn. Saturn is currently at 18 degrees in the sign of Pisces in your 12th house. So your 12th house represents topics that have to do with isolation and Saturn wants to constrict. It wants to bring in the 12th house is also, um, uh, not just in institutions or hospitalizations. It's where you do the inner work. It's your shadow self. It's where we, it's self-sabotage. It's also where other people can restrict us. So there's this square about my intuition, my me connecting uh, to other people, me connecting to my dreams, my intuition, the Akashic records, shamanic work, past lives, uh, restricting somewhat. Saturn brings along these blocks or these obstacles of you getting past restricting yourself with where you want to move forward. It's kind of a reality check of you saying, I'm ready to start on this new path. I need to work past my fear. Venus is going to bring in this desire for harmony, love, pleasure, and this better connection uh, that's going to be prompting you to move forward with these new moon intentions. So uh, three great ways that you can bring it in are reading or writing or journaling, like getting your words like um, onto some form of technology or into a journal. I also encourage you to network. Um, find places that you can gather socially with other people to expand your mindset or your skill set. Um, to expand your interests, um, to make an if effort to really engage with people. This could be with your neighbors or your siblings. And then this in turn can help support you as you can explore a, a possible new hobby, to go down a new um, path of learning something new. This could be a language or uh, a skill set that you could either use for work or use for pleasure. So Aries, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. For private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Taurus Sun and Taurus Rising, I love this for you because the Sun and the Moon and Venus are all conjunct together, meaning they're combining their energy in your second house of your self-worth, your cash, your property, your skill set. The second house is what do I need in order to feel secure in my life? The second house represents your pleasures, your, your belongings, the things that you own or the things, people, places and things that you want to covet or hold closer to yourself. Now, um, people with uh, degrees of that are in your house of Gemini at around 12 to 20, this will affect more because it will activate those planets. It will also square any 
planets that you have 16 to 20 in your Virgo house, it will oppose, bring on um, an opposition of, of looking at something and how do I integrate this in your Sagittarius house of 12 to 20 degrees and in your Pisces house, your 11th house of, again, 12 to 20 degrees. These are all the mutable signs and it brings in, I need to move forward, I need to end, I need to close out this chapter, but I also want to start with new beginnings. So um, a new moon in the sign of Gemini is offering you this opportunity to begin or embrace something new, planting these seeds that has to do with topics revolving, revolving around you setting personal goals. This could have to do with your salary, your income, your skill set, um, anything that has to do with how you support yourself or how you feel secure in who you are around or your your attitude towards your money or your belongings it's it's your mental emotional and spiritual security also now the sun brings in topics that will revolve around stability with your home the moon will bring in topics that have to do with um, stability or connection with others with neighbors and siblings and um, networking talking sharing of ideas Venus Venus wants to bring in love and beauty and sensual things it, Venus is always the planet that wants to bring together and to unite so the square comes in with Saturn a square aspect is a 90 degree angle where the planets have to integrate. Both of them have to work out how are we going to move forward with this. Saturn in Pisces in your 11th house is revolving around topics of what are your dreams, what are your goals, who do you network with, who are your connections, um, what are your aspirations, committees, uh, teams, social circles. There's some type of uh, of a restriction and Gemini is saying I need to move through blocks and obstacles um, that revolve around um, security money resources skill set embracing technology embracing ways that I can streamline technology this can be through email phone text how can I use these um, new new science new like AI to expand my mind to expand my knowledge my interest to expand the way that I communicate with other um, how can I take in this new knowledge to increase my skill set for my job or my career. Well, Saturn brings in the, the block or the obstacle. I just cannot run off and do this. I have to take a, a good hard look at my skill set and say, I either need to take a class in this. I need to have someone explain this to me. I need to understand this better. I just cannot uh, like jump into this. Saturn brings in a reality check where you're likely to say, I want to start down this path. What do I need to, what do I need to have? What skill set do I need to have in order to improve upon? I love this because Jupiter is going to be here for the next year, totally expanding your resources, your, your talent, your income, and it's going to be in trine with your career, your job, your legacy of, of what you want to do in life. Venus is bringing in all of this, this beautiful harmony, um, the, of, I, I, I want to do this because I, I want this. I want to own this. I want to purchase this. Venus is about pleasure and love and, and pleasure in your personal resources and surrounding yourself with it. She also brings in these better connections with your relationships in building uh, new beginnings with others. So some ways to look at this as an opportunity to make a list and um, reflect, uh, write, um, check into how can I use technology through this could be with your bank account like like to make sure that you're not being scammed or anything to every time you use your credit card like send you um, a text or an email or to have that second authorization of it's how do I use this to make 
things easier for me to keep track of my personal finances. And also this can be, I need to uh, connect with others who know more than me. I need to learn and gather information. And this could be through people that are close to you, but this could also be with um, people that you work with, like um, making an effort to meet and engage new people to network with because using this for your your job or your skill set then turning it into like possibly a new hobby like being versatile with with your skill set or a language or the the science that you are the the new knowledge that you're taking in through what can we learn from all these brand new um, things that are going to be available through ai Um, and there could be an opportunity that could really push you for mental engagement of learning this new skill set, learning this new, uh, it's a, it's a new strategy of how, and like, what do you do with your money and your skill set of this is what I can also in turn share with others. So Taurus, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. For private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Gemini Sun and Gemini Rising, I absolutely love this for you because this is a new moon in your first house of self. Your first house represents everything about your personality, your appearance. It's, it's I call it your business card or your website. It's you being seen in the outside world. It's the energy or your the vibes that you give off to other people. A new moon here is literally you planting seeds, ready to create, ready to um, socialize, it's I'm ready to network so uh, anybody who has planets between 12 and 20 degrees in the sign of Gemini this will affect you more because this will activate um, those uh, in the sign of Virgo because this will affect your home so it will square what's going on Uh, Sagittarius 16 uh, 12 to 20 degrees Uh, partnership, relationship, clients, and in Pisces, your 10th house of your career, your job, your legacy. So there will be oppositions and there will be squares to everything that you are starting with this, but this is pushing you past a where I have been stagnant, stagnant and now moving forward because these signs, they want to end and move forward with new growth. So as we, I want to go back and look at the new moon. New moons, fresh starts, clean slates. The sun brings in topics that have to do with science, technology, and travel. Your neighbors, your siblings, uh, who you communicate, networking opportunities like email, phone, text, Reddit, YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn. How do you gather information and how do you disseminate the information? And how are you going to be working on improving this and showing yourself to the world? Now, the moon brings in topics that have to do with your skill set, your money, your resources of what do I need in order to feel comfortable or secure it's your personal it's your personal resources so as we bring these topics in you are planting these new moon intentions these new moon seeds that have everything to do with your strength your habits your health your vitality and I have to take in new knowledge I now need to network. I need to be able to get out there, socialize. I need to expand my knowledge, my interest, find people who are like-minded and and improve my communication skills. Um, improve my my skill set in who I connect with and how I can what I can do for my career, meeting a partner, something that has to do with my home or my family. Um, it's, it's you significantly moving forward with and overcoming obstacles. The obstacles come with the square to Saturn. Saturn in your 10th house is your job. It's an authority figure. It's uh, the 10th house represents your reputation, your ambitions. And so Saturn is saying, yeah, you need to embrace all of this. You need to expand your knowledge. And you're going to want to do a little snippet here and a little snippet there. 
Saturn brings in the obstacles of the reality check that says, before you begin this path, make sure that you have all of these, like make sure you have your ducks in a row because this is who you are. Whatever you say that you know, double check. Like know what you say before you say it. Make sure it's just not gossip. This is a new path that you are beginning and Saturn says, I want you to double check and triple check. Make sure that this really represents who you are. Now Venus, Venus brings in your desire for I want harmony, I want love, I want pleasure. I want to be able to connect with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I want better connections in my relationships with others. I want to I want to be authentic with who I am sharing to the world with. Um, and this is what's prompting the new beginnings of who you are growing, changing and evolving into. Now, three great uh, ways for this these new moon intentions. Uh, definitely writing and reflecting. Now this can be in journal writing. We know that it should be, this is my path, this is where I'm moving forward, uh, this is how I want to be seen, and networking specifically for those those uh, topics, those that skill set of this is what I want to do, these are the social gatherings that I would like to be a part of, I want to align with other people that have the same interests or that can help me expand on my the what I want to share, I want to learn, and I want to grow and I want to be able to expand. How do I use technology to do that? Um, that that can be through uh, email, phone, network. I always say that the networking can also come through airwaves. And how do you use science and technology to improve your connection with the world? Your website, your business card. Um, this is how are you, how are you connecting with others? How can other people see you? Um, not just like in person, but how can you connect with other people? How can you use science and technology to do this? And this can be, um, this This is where the Saturn for the reality check is going to uh, give you a little bit of, of, a, of a, an obstacle in order for you to begin this new path saying, this is, the, this is where you need to have these new beginnings. Um, also, an opportunity to explore a new hobby of, of connecting with others or connecting with others for that's their hobby and then they can share that information with you that will improve your your website who you are your appearance you are connecting with somebody that shares the same interests or something that you want to learn from it brings in the opportunity of you being versatile and you being like a chameleon and ready to learn learn uh, change, evolve, and grow. So Gemini, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. For private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Cancer Sun and Cancer Rising, the new moon is occurring in your 12th house. So a new moon in the 12th house brings in topics of going within, learning within, and learning some things either privately, and these could be some taboo topics. Um, look at your chart, and if you have anything between 12 and 20 degree, 12 and 20 degrees in the sign of Gemini, this will uh, affect you um, more. It, because it will be sitting right on top and activating those planets. If you have any planets in the sign of Virgo and in the sign of Sagittarius and in the sign of Pisces, again, 12 to 20 degrees, because your Virgo house of communication, taking classes, taking workshops, and who you network with, that will square that will be a, I need to integrate that. And your sixth house of your daily habits and mundane tasks, that will oppose you of how can you make the time for this? And then I wanna travel and I wanna network. And how do I do this? Probably through um, through an online class or an, or an online workshop. So those are the, um, those are the mutable signs that say, I, I want to do this, but these are the areas that it's going to affect me more personally. So as you're moving forward with this new moon intention, 
The sun represents something that has to do with your personal finances, your self-worth, and your skill set. It's what you want to uh, work on, but you want to do it privately. The moon is who you are. Very intuitive, most likely psychic. Now, the moon in um, this new moon intention in your 12th house brings up this, this opportunity for rest and retreat and going within and working privately with taking the deep journey. This can be through astral travel, astral projection. This could be through shamanic work. This could be dream work. This could be doing anything that requires you in solitude, meditating or connecting to others. This could be you at home connecting to others. Like I want to take an online class that has to do with palmistry or understanding dreams or numerology. It'll have to do with more um, topics that are esoteric in nature, like uh, something that has to do with um, connecting to angels or guides or past lives or something that is done within that could deal with your inner world, you connecting to spirit, divine, or uh, your to do the inner healing of, of how can I heal and how can I renew. And so bringing in these topics we also have science and technology and how can i like is it digging into your like ancestry dna and wanting to understand or is it doing past life regressions to understand where did the skill set come from why do i have this fear how do i have this connection where can i bring in what i know um the the science and the technology is expanding this area of your life of I can take a class, I can take a workshop, I can use AI to find out information and expand um, my skill set for me to then share it later with the world. This is you taking in and being curious and then um, about things that you want to become more knowledgeable about and your interests in order to improve your communication. I say imp improve communication with other like-minded in individuals, but also this can be communication to the spiritual realm of understanding your dreams, understanding the symbolism of what some things can be, like the synchronicity of things, like finding a penny or hearing a song or finding a feather. So bringing in all of this is in a square with Saturn. So Saturn in your ninth house is you wanting to go someplace. I want to take it there. I want to connect with those people. I want to dive into religion or spirituality. Uh, I, I, I want to be able to teach it. I want to expand my horizons through my connections of understanding others that are different than me. This is also the house of publishing and learning and legal matters. And so knowing that you're going to be starting some topics, Saturn brings in this obstacle or a block of this is what I want to do. And you are going to be sitting with it and saying, what do I have to do? How can I begin this new path? How can I look look within or be alone as I start this journey or be online as I start this journey, this new path? Venus brings in the desire for harmony and love and this connection with other people who can be like-minded in um, prompting this, this new beginning with your connection to um, healing because the 12th house is is our our like institutions hospitalization self-sabotage like i need to quit punishing myself i need to release myself from this i need to be able to heal myself from everything that's that's been going on in my life you're going to have jupiter here for the next year so we know that you are taking a uh, taking time to go within and connect to your higher power to release and and I also love this for like connecting to your skill set that you that you have from other lives, like bringing it in. So great ways to work with this is uh, writing and journaling, uh, networking with other people. This will probably be private, as in retreats or or like um, 
uh, like a spiritual retreat or meditation or through yoga. These will be in like small group settings with people that are like-minded and um, possibly looking at new modalities for healing, like checking out maybe a new hobby that you want to, um, to like maybe it's the sound bowls. Maybe it's, it's you being versatile in the way that you're expressing your information and ideas and taking it in and knowing that you are going to be learning a new skill set or a new language. And this can be like a star language or connecting to uh, other like ancestors, like understanding the messages or dreams that you get. So Cancer, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Leo Sun and Leo Rising, I absolutely love this for you because you are having a new moon and it's conjunct Venus all in your 11th house of what are your dreams? What are your hopes? What are your aspirations? Who do you network with? What do you want to manifest? What do you want to grow? I love this because the 11th house is not just your hopes and wishes, but it's your teams. It's people who, sh it's, it's like your shared social circle or your network. And so it's your group connections. It's how do you help society and who do you connect with in order to give back, share, grow, learn, and evolve. So having um, a new moon here, uh, this will affect anybody who has um, degrees in your Gemini house between 12 and 20 more personally because it will activate those planets. It will also activate um, the between 12 and 20 in your Virgo house. So definitely look at that because that will be in a, a, a square to what is going on. There will have to be something that's integrated. It's you learning a new skill set to use for... Um, uh, for security but for like a skill set for money and resources and it will oppose your fifth house of creativity love and um, like joy and pleasure and how can i how how do i what am i doing with other people and does it bring me joy and pleasure with who i'm connecting with and it will also square your eighth house of your shared resources so knowing that you have to integrate any planets that are being activated by 12 and 20 degrees in those mutable signs because mutable energy wants to finish and move on. So this is literally a new moon that says, I'm ready to move on to the next chapter. I'm ready to begin. I'm excited about this. I want to make this happen. How can I embrace technology? How can I embrace AI? What do these things offer me that will make my life easier? So is that automating uh, something that has to do with house cleaning? So think about like the Roomba, um, automating your connections with other people um, through email or through your group affiliations. Um, the 11th house has to do with any group or network that you are part of that is um, that could be through it's like Facebook groups, YouTube groups, LinkedIn, um, anything that, that can be airwaves, but it's also things that you do in person. And how can you take in new technology, new learning, classes, workshops, opportunities to network? Um, it's to improve your wisdom and your knowledge. Gemini is in small little nuggets. I am meeting new people and I need to keep track of all these new people that are coming into my life and bringing in these these nuggets of opportunities to expand my knowledge and my interests because I want to do a little bit of everything. The sun brings in topics that revolve around you. It's your identity. It, I always say it's your business card or your website. So the sun is bringing in topics of this is who I am and this is really what I want to do. And who do I need to align myself with that will support me on my growth, 
on my my goal to move forward for my career, my job. The moon brings in topics that have to do with esoteric dreams, uh, your psychic abilities, um, uh, shadow work, shamanic work, uh, yoga, meditation, uh, retreats, uh, where we do the deep journeying. So how are you helping people to heal and how does it help you heal through this new moon? So the difficulty comes with the square to Saturn. Saturn is in Pisces in your eighth house of your shared resources. It, the eighth house is also the house of deep psychological um, healing and how do I transform? Because this new moon is helping you to transform who you are and how you communicate that to other people. The square to Saturn is saying, I need to embrace technology. I, I need to be curious. I need to be knowledgeable. I need to pay attention to my interests and improve my communication skills. And then Saturn is saying, but there's going to be these blocks, these reality checks before I can start this. I need to be able to say, what can I start and what can I finish? Not bite off more than I can chew. The Saturn is, is prompting you to have these new beginnings in order to offer the inner healing that can come because when you do the inner healing work, then this is also what you can share with others. That's how people can, can connect with you. And so this is how you find your tribe. And so ways that you can work with this Gemini energy is networking events, like your schedule is gonna be very busy. It's you being the social butterfly, talking to all these different peoples and groups. And this could be uh, uh, you like on forums where you're adding your comments to it and then those comments get picked up and making sense to others and then connecting with those people. It's all the ways that you are going to be talking, sharing ideas and communicating and socially connecting and that will expand how people will find you and your connection to the like the bigger picture because Sagittarius is here also. And so you might take up a new hobby. You might learn a new um, skill set. You might uh, learn a new language and that language can be um, something that has to do with technology. So Leo, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Um, please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. For private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Virgo Sun and Virgo Rising, I absolutely love this for you because this is occurring in your 10th house of your career, your job, your legacy, your reputation. It's what you want to bring and show your public life to the outside world. It's you saying, no, I want to make my mark on society. This is this is your social status here. And so anybody who has any planets between the uh, 12 and 20 degrees in the sign of Gemini will be greatly affected in the sign of Virgo. It will square. You'll have to work through that and integrate it. In the sign of Sagittarius, this will um, oppose your home. And in the sign of Pisces, again, 12 to 20 degrees in those four areas of your life. These signs are the mutable. They want to they want to move along uh, this energy and they want to transform this energy. And so in the sign of Gemini, uh, this is really gonna be an opportunity that you're gonna have to embrace forms of technology, AI. So let's say it was for your job um, the being inundated with email or how can I send out mass emails, your website, your business page, your clients, how can you stay in touch and communicate with clients or with business partners or with employees? It's you connecting to others and needing to streamline and make your life easier to hold many different conversations or gather information and bring it in. And um, it's how can you improve your communication skill set, your technology? How can you like 
Is it getting a better camera? Is it getting a better phone? Is it updating your computer? It's what can you do to make what you are doing better and using and embracing people who know more than you, know better than you, and uh, are more knowledgeable than you, networking with them, gathering this information. This is also you being the social butterfly. Now, the sun brings in topics of your 12th house, which is the hidden of, of I need to take my skill set of my intuition, my, my dreams, my uh, where I go to rest and retreat, and my connection to the divine, where I've taken these deep journeys and I can connect to spirit guides, ancestors, angels, shamanic realm, uh, through past life regressions, bringing those topics in and the moon brings in the topics of who are you networking with are they going to help you align with where you want to go with what you want to do your your moon represents your hopes your wishes your dreams your goals and and the people that you are uh, rubbing elbows with in order to manifest and and do what you want to do f and to be known for your public life awards honors reputation professional life uh, venus i absolutely love venus here because venus is about beauty and love and money and bringing in harmony the difficulty comes with the square to saturn saturn is about restriction and saturn wants things done right and so how do you embrace technology? How do you expand your knowledge, your interests? How do you in improve your communication with others? Is this like the automated email reply? Uh, is this getting a virtual assistant? Is this getting somebody in to help you with this? How do you improve your skill set? Saturn brings in these blocks, these obstacles, and these reality checks that have to do with partners clients, negotiations, one-on-one -on -one relationships. This can be a significant other or business partner. And it's squaring saying, how do I integrate what I want to do? And Venus is just bringing in this desire to say, I want more harmony. I want more love. I want more pleasure. And I want a better connection. I want to be real and authentic. And I want these new beginnings in this area of my career, my legacy, my reputation. This is how I want to be known. So things that you can do, uh, definitely get in with networking events. This is definitely you attending them, social gatherings, uh, that with not just with things that will help you move forward, but things that uh, pique your interest because you might meet someone who knows somebody else. It's you making an effort to engage with new people and expanding your horizons. Um, exploring a new hobby, learning a new skill set, uh, definitely embracing the science and the technology of all forms of AI. So Virgo, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Libra Sun and Libra Rising, you are having this beautiful new moon conjunct Venus all at 16 degrees in your ninth house of you connecting with other people, you traveling, you networking, you taking classes and workshops, you teaching things, legal matters. I absolutely love this because this is publishing. This is putting things out there. And so the sun brings in topics that have to do with your networking, like who you're doing this with, your 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 hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your goals. Now, the moon brings in topics of this, this is what you want to do for a career or a job or a legacy, your reputation. If you have any planets between 12 and 20 degrees in the sign of Gemini, this will directly affect and activate those planets. Um, if you have planets in your Virgo house, it will square. You will have to integrate it. Uh, your Sagittarius house of communication, siblings, and neighbors. You will all. This will oppose you. You will have to work with the energy. And in your Pisces house of your daily habits, this will be an opportunity for you to also integrate what's going on with you in your everyday life. So new moons always bring uh, an opportunity to start something new, a clean slate, a new beginning. In the sign of Gemini is I need to embrace 
Who do I meet? How do I meet them? Do I take the class online? Do I do it through Zoom? Do I do virtual? Like, how how can I learn more, connect with people more, whether it's I want to travel there, this could be short trips, or this could be virtually, how can I expand my knowledge, my wisdom, taking a class? Like, I absolutely love this for um, publishing things, taking classes and workshops. It'll all be like little snippets of information. And um, then we add in Venus. Venus is just about, Venus is your chart ruler. So it's love and beauty and harmony and pleasure and and connecting with other people and this is enshrined your first house of self so we know that this is a direction in which you need to embrace now the difficulty comes with saturn saturn is in a square aspect which means that you have to integrate the energy saturn wants to restrict it wants to um, block it wants to create this obstacle in your daily life. How can you take care of yourself, your mental, physical, spiritual health and well-being? Do you need a guide? Do you need a mentor? How do you take care of yourself and have all these amazing things that are going to be like at your fingertips to like, I want to take that class. I want to read that book. I want to start this. I want to publish this. It's you being in all these different directions. And before you begin this new path, you're going to have to address some of those issues. Uh, ways that you can work with it, definitely networking. This is definitely an opportunity to take classes, teach classes, network, social gatherings. Like this is going to be uh, like like right up your alley exploring a new hobby and uh, trying something new and being able to connect with other people that can be like-minded and um, offering you uh, like this mental engagement of expanding your mind so learning a new skill set learning a new language or learning about what other people do so that's an, being open-minded about religion or spirituality so libra i would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below please join me live on tuesdays at 6 p.m eastern standard time where i offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations for private consultation you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com and to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Scorpio Sun and Scorpio Rising, this is occurring, this new moon is in your eighth house. So new moons are fresh starts, clean slates, new beginnings. If you have any planets between 12 and 20 degrees in your eighth house in the sign of Gemini, this will directly impact you. Also, if you have any in the sign of Virgo, this will square um, what you want to do with uh, your goals, your hopes, your dreams. And in the sign of Sagittarius, 12 to 20, this will oppose my personal resources, my cash, my property. And in the sign of Pisces, again, 12 and 20 degrees impacting. These are considered to be the mutable signs. They want to move things along. And so when something is being activated um, in your eighth house, it will either oppose or square this energy in order to um, push forth and move on from one stage to another. So new moons. Clean slate, new beginning, fresh start. A new moon in the eighth house is deep and psychological in nature. It's your connection with other people. It's the house of deep bonding. It is you connected with business partners, significant others. Um, this could be exes because of alimony and child support. It's where you are invested or where you have your money or your resources invested. Now the moon brings in topics of you connecting with other people with taking classes and workshops but it's religion and spirituality so we know that your moon is bringing in what you want to do the sun is bringing in topics that have to do with your career your job your legacy your reputation you in the outside world of this is how i want this is the career this is my life path this is where i want to move on to Venus is, is here just saying, I want love, peace, and harmony. I want to connect with these people on a deep level, and I want this to be um, happy and joyful. Now, the square comes in with the planet of Saturn. Saturn is the planet of blocks and um, uh, obstacles. The sign of Gemini brings in science, technology, and and 
and how do I use AI with my investments, with my, uh, like, how can I streamline some areas of my life, the way that I communicate with other people? How can I streamline my debts, my obligations, taxes, inheritances, wills? Um, how can I uh, connect how can I connect? Remember that the eighth house is also taboo topics and it's not, it's like I want to connect with other people that delve into these topics because it shouldn't be taboo. Like this is where you are, like this is where you want to look into. And so you just need to find like your tribe. This is you connecting with your tribe. And this could be for business, but this can also be for pleasure. Saturn bringing in the block or the obstacle says you need a reality check of something that has to do with children or creativity or um, before I begin this new path of taking this risk, because the fifth house is about risks, I need to, I need to be uh, cognizant of this new path that I'm starting because I'm planting these seeds and I want to move forward. And this area of your life is really going to expand because Jupiter is here. Jupiter is going to be here for the next year. So it's prompting a lot of new beginnings and it's expanding your mind in all kinds of different directions. And it's being open to these new ideas, new interests, new connections, uh, meeting and engaging with people. This could be most likely privately the because the eighth house is like things that we do like in the shadow. And so, um, or that we do privately. So this could be like in through an office, business partner, or this could be somebody that you want to have this deep bonding experience with. The eighth house with Gemini here means that you need to be versatile and you need to be open-minded to new things, new experiences, new people. And so it will expand with like, it'll expand your, your whole mindset of, of investments or where you share your time with other people. And so Scorpio, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. For private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Sagittarius Sun and Sagittarius Rising, this is occurring in your seventh house of partnership. So we know that you're going to be having this new moon that has something to do with you and your partner or you with clients, you with love, you with best friends, significant others. This is with negotiation, contractual agreements. This is where we uh, come together to sign agreements or to have these one-on-one -on -one relationships or, or connections with other people. So uh, being very social at this time. Uh, if you have any planets at or around the degrees of 12 to 20 in your Gemini house, this will directly impact them. In your Virgo house, it will square with your job, your career, your legacy. This will oppose who you are. Um, so how do you integrate that energy? It will be in opposition and it will square something that has to do with your home. Like how do I integrate this energy? It will more, it will greatly uh, affect you more with again, 12 to 20 degrees um, in these mutable signs because the mutable signs want to finish. They want to move forward. They want to end some things and like move on to the next chapter. And so you have this new moon, a fresh start, clean slate, and you're bringing in topics that have to do with, I want to travel. I want to study this. I want to teach this. I want to publish this. I want to connect with all kinds of people who have uh, different viewpoints. It's, um, the, 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 your Leo house has to do with uh, cross-cultural experiences and you wanting to connect with other people either to take a class or to take a workshop or to learn from or to teach um, from these people. Now the moon brings in topics of how can I incorporate my investments that I have or my partner's money or resources or where I am connected with other people. Uh, the eighth house represents uh, the house. It's a house of deep bonding, but it's who you're connected with, with a business partner, an ex, a significant other, 
it's where we have our money invested and it's also the house of taboo topics and we need to talk about um, who you are connecting with in um, all of this in the sign of Gemini is offering this new beginning of how can I streamline the information that's coming in and how do I keep these connections because it's being the social butterfly being at at engagements or or places meeting new people um, taking up a new hobby or a new activity um, aligning with people who are um, sharing the same interests that you are this could be clients this could be through um, networking but it's you saying I'm going to either work with my partner with this or I'm going to bring my partner along or I'm going to do this with a friend or do this with a partner all of this is bringing in partnership for you so if you're looking for a partner this can definitely bring in th that person now venus is about love and beauty and harmony and money and pleasure and these these deep connections so these people that you're meeting and these connections that you're having you're going to have to find some way to keep track of it because it will be a busy social calendar or I, I met that person where did I like I, I don't remember it I want to reconnect with them and then having to go back and figure out where was the connection um, this new moon is is prompting this new start and allowing you to expand this area of your life the square comes with Saturn square is offering this um, obstacle uh, that says um, it's a reality check of this can affect our home and how can I do this from home how can I use technology to um, maybe have someone take care of your your home your lawn your cleaning your your bills like how can I how can I um, automate my bills something that has to do with your home your fa your family your foundation and also bring in topics of partnership because your your partner is probably off um, and or this is you um, meeting people and, and doing it with a partner or a friend and so how can you um, how can you make these connections and move forward with what you want to um, to like move forward on this new path of where you want to uh, expand uh, science technology um, like it's, it's opposing who you are so we know that this has something to do with um, changing and evolving because your partner could be going through something that will change and evolve your relationship with them and you want to grow along with them so Sagittarius, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Capricorn Sun and Capricorn Rising, this new moon is occurring in your sixth house of your daily habits of how you take care of your mental health your physical health your spiritual health offering you new opportunities new beginnings fresh starts clean slates now if you have any planets um, around the degrees of 12 and 20 12 to 20 in the sign of gemini uh, or in the sign of virgo uh, or in the sign of sagittarius or in the sign of Pisces this will uh, impact you more because it will either square where you're going to have to integrate it or it will oppose what you are doing um, the 12th house is your house of isolation so this could have something to do with your mental health your physical health you giving and giving and giving of others the sixth house is our daily mundane tasks it's about um, how do I take care of myself and I need to end some some bad habits I need to end some uh, where I am taking care of everybody and not taking care of myself now the Sun brings in topics that have to do with your eighth house of your shared resources the eighth house is where is your money tied up where are your resources tied up who are you connected with this could be with business partners significant um, others uh, exes with alimony and child support but it can also be with family 
the moon brings in topics that have to do with your relationship with your best friends or your uh, marital partners uh, or clients. The moon brings in topics that have to do with these contractual agreements that you either are written or non-written that you feel that you have with other people. And so uh, in the sign of Gemini, it's how can I use technology to make my life easier? And this could be looking at new modalities of healing and of learning. So this could be a sound bath. This could be uh, Reiki. This could be acupuncture. This could be uh, diving into past lives, uh, like doing past life regressions or shamanic work. This is literally you saying, what are the other alternatives that are out there? How do I access this? How do I use this? Now, the sun is uh, combining with the moon and Venus is really bringing in um, the desire for harmony, love, uh, pleasure and a better connection with your relationship with others prompting these new beginnings the square comes in with saturn saturn is the planet of restriction and it wants to um, block or or it's in a square so it says you have to integrate this energy you just cannot move forward it's in your third house of communication with siblings and neighbors and cousins and um, who you talk and share ideas with on a daily basis and the third house is also um, travel and and sharing of ideas and networking and technology and so how can you use um, technology how can you use this to better your your connection with others? Uh, the third house is about building relationships. And how do you integrate this and make sure that you're focused on your health and not always give, give, giving of others and making sure that you are taking care of yourself first, planting the seeds to say, I need I need to get out more. I need to socialize more. I need to make an effort to engage with new people, to try new things, to look at new interests, to explore new hobbies. I need I need more mental engagement. Um, I need to learn a new skill set. I need to I need to try something new that can help me mentally, physically, spiritually, or emotionally. All right, so Capricorn, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For a private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Aquarius Sun and Aquarius Rising, you are having this new moon in your fifth house. So you have the Sun and the Moon and Venus and it's trining your first house of self. So such a beautiful aspect. We have um, the Sun representing uh, not just partnerships, but significant others and clients and one-on-one -on -one relationships, best friends, and the Moon bringing in topics of what you do on a daily basis and your self-care. And your fifth house represents topics of children or childlike activities or creation or creative self-expression, my, my creative outlets like art and music and gambling and taking a risk and I need to do this. And in the area of technology and science and streamlining some things, like if you're writing poetry, how do you get it out there to the masses? If you are working with music, how do you share this with others? How do you connect with others? If you have planets between the degrees of 12 and 20 in the sign of Gemini, this will greatly impact you. You can also look at your Virgo house because this is your shared resources that you connect with other people and your Sagittarius house, this will oppose you and your second house of your self-worth, your cash, your property and your personal resources. This is a square. So we know that if you have planets between 12 and 20 degrees of your of any of these houses you will be integrating and working with this energy of how do i move forward because it's mutable energy it wants to end begin and move forward with new at a more accelerated pace gemini is thoughts ideas communication science how do I connect with people? I am, I'm saying that this is like through airwaves. And so this could be 
um, email, phone, text, LinkedIn, TikTok, um, uh, Zoom, um, like all of the media, anything that's like Reddit, um, anything that's out there that there are avenues that you could share your skill set with others because this could be a starting like taking a risk of starting a hobby and that turns into a, a money maker for you it's this opportunity to improve your technology your skill set to be able to do two things at one time and beginning this new path the square comes in from saturn Saturn is the planet of, of restriction and it wants to block or obstruct you moving forward. You need to look at what are your resources, your cash, your property, your personal skill set and say, how can I embrace um, technology? How can I embrace these connections that I have with other people? How can I, how, how can I take a risk? The fifth house is um, my creative outlets and it's love. It's like going after that partner or going, go, like I've always wanted to try this activity. It's you doing that. And Saturn is here saying, we need to improve our communication. There needs to be some kind of a reality check before you start off in this new path. It's not blocking you. It's saying we need to integrate it. This energy is requiring you to say, I'm going to be networking. I'm going to be, uh, I need to put myself out there in different social gatherings. I need to embrace different types of technology. I need to look at what are the risks that are involved in this. I need to make an effort to meet and engage with other people that are not only like-minded, but are not like-minded because it's expanding my mind. It's mental engagement. This could be learning a new language, learning a new skill set. This could literally be expanding your family because they're, you're planting a new seed here. It's like I want to, I want to have children, or I want to. Um, it is the house of giving birth, but if if it's not about giving birth to a child, it's I want to give birth to this project, to this activity. This is what I really want to do because it's in it's in trying to your first house of self of Pluto and Pluto can make this happen. And so Aquarius, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. For private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com and to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Pisces Sun and Pisces Rising, this is occurring in your fourth house of your home, your family, your foundation, your roots. I love this for you in that the sun brings in topics of your daily habits, these mundane habits of, of I need to, um, I need to work on um, my mental health, my physical health, my spiritual health, and how much service am I giving to other people? Because I want to build a solid foundation for myself. The moon brings in topics that have to do with your creativity, your finding love, you with children, or you with pleasure and joy and so we know that you are wanting to plant the seeds of a new beginning if you have any planets between the degrees of 12 and 20 in your gemini house this will impact you more if you have them in your virgo house it will square partnership if you have them in your sagittarius house again 12 to 20 degrees this will oppose you with career job or legacy or in your pisces house it will square your first house of who am i uh, like who am i presenting to the world and changing and evolving and growing into so we know that you're planting this new seed of i what, what does home look like? Does this mean having two homes? Does this mean working from home? Gemini is the twins. It's doing two things at one time. Does that mean somebody living with you? That Does that mean you living with somebody else part-time? Gemini is this, this is this mutable energy that wants to move forward and embrace new, but like end. It wants to like end a chapter in order to bring forward new. So we know that um, how can you expand your home? Uh, how can you expand your knowledge, your interests through people that you're meeting in at your home or 
um, like the, the fourth house has everything to do with your traditions, your upbringing, your living situation, your family, and what does this look like with your everyday life of how are you taking care of yourself and bringing joy and pleasure into your daily life. Gemini means I need to get out, I need to network, I need to stimulate my mind by starting a new hobby. I need to be versatile with accepting new people into my life. I need to uh, embrace um, learning a, a new book, uh, a new language, a new skill set. I need to embrace new. This could be new science. This could be understanding how AI can help me. This could be anything that has to do with you being curious. Um, Gemini is curious energy and it's kind of like flirty and socializing and networking and this could be meeting in a coffee shop or um, just go, doing things that are close to home for you and expanding your interests by connection with other people. Um, what comes with this is the square to Saturn in your first house. Saturn is the planet of obstacles but it's also a block it requires um it requires a like a boundary and it says yes you want to move forward with this you want to embrace this technology you want to take this class you want to take this workshop you want to have someone move in with you you want to move in with somebody else like what does this look like venus in the fourth house is about love and beauty and pleasure and what does this look like you are looking for better connections, prompting these new beginnings in your, in your fourth house of home, but it's squaring who you are. You have to be the one that gets out there. You have to be the one to go to the social gatherings or, or have the social gatherings, host the social gatherings. You're gonna be the one that has to take up the hobby or take that class, take that workshop. Um, learn that new skill. This is you getting out there and making this happen. And this could be, I like this because this could be bringing somebody new into your home or uh, somebody that you love or um, in, in, in expanding upon your family or building upon what does home look like for you. Um, this could be with people that have shaped you but it definitely has to do with your living situation or your family dynamics or your family relationships. So Pisces, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. For private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com and to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe.